And, you know, while the rest of the queer community is rallying around, like, marriage rights, there's these real-life issues that are affecting our young men, right? All right, see, again, with the whole worry about this, but don't worry about this, all right? We'll worry about gay guys being kicked out of their home and being forced into prostitution, but we won't worry about gay marriage being legalized, all right? Now, the point of worry about this but don't worry about this could be used if the don't worry about this point is something we shouldn't really worry about. And what is the don't worry about point? Prostitution. I mean, really, this is not helping your feminist views on women not being equal. Really, it's not. <sighs> That's the real issue to me. Why is it okay? Why is it considered legitimate? Why is it just taken for granted that there's this, you know, that there has to be people there for other people's sexual use? It, and those, the majority of those people are either, like, you know, um, young men or, you know, women. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> We're not saying there has to be. See, again, you're making it seem like there has to be prostitution. As far as I know, nobody is saying that. Alright? But the fact of the matter is, why shouldn't it be there? Why should it be illegal? Why must it be illegal? And give a good, valid argument. Give a good, valid argument. In fact, if it was legal, let's just say it was legal, and the government taxed it, and they gave all these prostitutes a test a month, make sure they didn't have any diseases, sexually transmitted diseases, you would have something going. You would have a fucking business going. A lot of money would be going, and women would be able to support themselves. I mean, come on, it's, it's common sense, man. <laughs> yeah. Um... So those are some red herrings, and this comes up with pornography as well, you know, like, a woman choose to be in pornography, you're trying to take away a woman's right to choose to do what she wants with her own body, how are you better than a pro-lifer? Like, well, a woman's not going to die if she chooses, if she it doesn't have to, you know, be in porn, she won't, that, she's not going to die from that, right? I don't know what you were trying to say there, but I'll just make this one quick. It is their choice to whether join pornography or prostitution. That is their choice. Um, you know, there's a big difference there. Um, <clears throat> but also, there's this fact, you know, that's not what we're debating about. I obviously respect women's choices, and I try to understand them. If you respected women's choices, you would not be sitting here making an argument about how you feel prostitution should be illegal. That women should not be allowed to go out there and have sex for money. You wouldn't be making this argument if you respected their decision. You would just be saying why I feel prostitution is wrong, not why I feel it should be legalized and women shouldn't be involved. So that's not the argument you're presenting here. Um, the f I'm not debating about a woman's right to choose to do what she wants with her body. I'm trying to debate about the demand that men have that women be available to them sexually at all times. Again, if a guy wants sex, what's the damn problem? I mean, he's just a horny guy and he's willing to spend money and the woman accepting the money will be able to use that money for whatever she wants, whether it's for a new shirt that she wants or whether she needs to pay a bill. I don't see the damn problem and not to mention the guy's happy at the end and the girl gets the money and hell, if she likes it, she's happy at the end. I mean, really, it's not like guys are the only ones that like sex. It's just that guys like it more. Females like sex. It's just, again, guys like it more. What can I say? You know, that's what the issue is to me. Anyway, were there any other ones? Oh, there's always red herrings. I'm sure a million will come up. I don't want to get into these, like, just 
things about, oh, this is a tactic, this is a tactic. But come on, can you have better characters? I'm surprised that I kept my mature stance with you. And I'm going to continue to keep my mature stance with you. Because, quite frankly, I don't know you, you don't know me, and even though I found this video very naive, I'm still not just going to go out there and randomly insult somebody that didn't deserve it, because you haven't said anything in this video that needs an insult. It's just a very naive video. Let's just break it down by one point. Let's just make it short, sweet, and to the point if I can. It's the male and female's choice of whether they want to be in porn or not, or if they want to be in prostitution. You can't sit there and start saying that, oh, well, it's got to be illegal because the man wants demand, or why do they want demand for it? Now, you would have had a valid argument if you would have said stick to masturbation, if you wouldn't have gone into that last video and had a problem with males masturbating to porn. I mean, really, you would have had an argument and I would have let it go. But you totally left yourself wide open for people to attack you. There were people attacking you for that reason. It's because you're putting out naive points in your videos. That is why people are attacking you. I chose not to because I choose to just argue my side. I just try to make my argument seem as valid as possible. And most of the time, throwing insults is not going to really validate the point further. It's just going to exasperate the situation. Trust me, I know from past experience. So, Miss... I don't even remember your name. Nuclear... What is it? Nuclear Knight? Okay, there we go. Nuclear Knight. Here's what I'm going to say to you. Structure your arguments better. Learn how to structure your arguments and think about what you say before you post them on YouTube. That goes for everybody, including myself, because there will be just one time that somebody will either A, debunk your points, or B, decide to go personal with you for no freaking reason. Again, from past experience. This has been Oxide, signing off.